First Lady Margaret Kenyatta has called on key stakeholders and Kenyans in general to help children with disability to actualize their potential and contribute to national development. The First Lady, who was speaking in Elite in Kericho County, said children must be given top priority if the country is to attain provision of equal opportunity and inclusivity of all citizens in its programs. Nancy Okware reports. Lady Margaret Kenyatta was at St. Kizito School for the Deaf in Litain, Kericho to celebrate rehabilitation works funded by the Central Bank of Kenya and other partners. The First Lady underscoring the need to provide equal opportunities for all and the strength of diversity. Meaningful transformation can only be achieved if we all come together to promote social and economic development of our children mothers and families. There is recognized value and strength of diversity in a population, which is why our government has prioritized and committed to national and legal frameworks and policies that ensure resources are dedicated to promote diversity and inclusion. The First Lady said her Beyond Zero initiative has played a vital role in complementing the efforts by the government to achieve inclusivity by advocating for equal access to healthcare and education for children living with disabilities. Equal opportunity, accessibility and inclusivity for children is a priority for me as it is for our government. Making inclusion work requires the right attitude the right planning so that every child is provided with a fair chance to the right of a decent education. The colors, the build, all the things, the facilities, obviously are a motivation for them. But I think the greatest source of motivation will remain with your visit. When Kenyans come together and bring their hearts and minds and soul to every child, we can transform their learning facilities and environment so that they feel included. Our children have capacity to compete with the able-bodied in all aspects of life, both in curriculum and co-curricular activities. The journey to transform the school that has over 160 pupils began in 2016, following the institution's memorable performance at the Kenya Music Festival. Nancy Okwari, Prime Edition.